hello everyone today let us discuss one topic in module 2 that is interconnection of lti system under this topic we have seen few of the basic problems at the start and we have even covered some of the basic properties of convolution that is commutative property associative and distributive property while dealing with those properties we have come across some series and parallel connections so this is about that only so whenever you come across some parallel and series connections in the block diagram how we can manipulate okay so let us start with the first parallel connection this is the system if we have and this kind of system if you observe this has been dealt while dealing with one of the properties of uh, convolution where x of t is the input y of t is the output and you have got two different impulse responses h1 and h2 they are connected in parallel okay that's why it is parallel connection if this is the thing given to you then how we can reduce it how we can interpret this flaw okay let us see you know this output can be written as the sum of these two outputs y1 and y2 and in turn y1 it is coming from this so we can interpret it as the convolution between x and h1 just like in general lti system definition impulse response we have seen if x is the input y is the output this is the impulse response and a y is given by convolution of these two signals so likewise this output is given by the convolution of these two signals similarly that's why we have written instead of y1 x and h1 convolution similarly for y2 we can write x convolved with h2 in this if you take x of t convolution common you will be left with h1 plus h2 now if you just try to see this this is the output this is one signal convolution and the remaining is considered as one signal so we can represent this in the form of a block as x as the input y as the output and this as the impulse whatever is there in the bracket so if a system has got the parallel connection of two impulse responses then it is reduced like this h1 plus h2 parallel connection you add the responses if you have one more say h3 in conne connection connected in parallel then this will be h1 plus h2 plus s3 like that this is about parallel connection similarly when you look at the series connection if uh, you have a block diagram wherein you have uh, x of t as the input y of t as the output and two impulse responses are connected in series then how to represent this block y of t is given by just look at this side first the output is given by this is the input coming from this side this part convolved with h2 so this i have taken it as say v of t v of t convolved with h2 but what is v of t v of t is again it is coming from these two so v of t is the convolution of x and h1 that's what is substituted here x and h1 and this as it is now what i'll do simply keep these this as it is just put a bracket here so that this will be interpreted as output is the convolution of one signal and the one more signal so we can represent this in the form of a block like this in x is the input y is the output and whatever this bracket term is there it is the impulse so whenever you have got a series connection h1 h2 they are connected in series it is replaced by h1 convolved with h2 if you have one more say h3 in series then convolved with h3 continue likewise so parallel connection is replaced with sum series connection is replaced with convolution so if you know these two parallel and series connection block interpretation it will be helpful for you to solve the problems based on this thank you